back in time. No human eye has ever seen this land or the extraordinary creatures that roam here. Until now. When the first people reached this continent in prehistory, they found an immense wilderness, ravaged by drought and scorched by fire. This is a land where human survival will be tested to the very limits. Imagine what life will be like for these first Australians. In this harsh, strange world, human ingenuity will be pitched against predators that are a throwback to the age of the dinosaurs. Aboriginal myths speak of a time thousands of years ago when the first ancestors came from the sea. These beliefs are echoed by scientific theories claiming that humans came across the sea from Timor as much as 65,000 years ago arriving on the northern coast of Australia. A new world. Whatever their origins, the coast is where it all started long ago. This family are people like you and me. They have the same feelings and intelligence. Highly skilled, they have a complex language, can make fire and craft fine tools. Japarola is a great hunter. It must feel good. The only people in a pristine world, an ancient Eden. But beachcombing in prehistory can throw up nasty surprises. Japarola! Now, Japangade realizes they aren't the first people here after all. Not only that, but this was a victim of a violent death. But by whom? Or what? It makes them realize how small and vulnerable they are in this unknown world. For humans, night is always a fearful time. Fresh from their discovery of the skull, they won't dare sleep without a fire and a night watchman.
The north of ancient Australia is covered in dense, dry jungle. But around the coastal fringe, it harbors a rich supply of food, if you know where to find it. As these are a coastal people, they certainly have the experience to find all their needs from the animals and plants of shore and coastal forest. The women and children gather most of the family's food supplies. Men hunt for bigger game. But overall, they are rather less effective. Although this is a new land, many of the plants are similar to those of the islands from which they came. This one is medicinal. But there are many things that they do not know. Australia is home to more species of venomous snake than anywhere else in the world. As yet, they do not realize the full dangers. A bite from a brown snake means a horrible death. They learn by trial and error. Who first discovered that green ants taste of lemon? One thing these coastal people know all about is the threat from giant saltwater crocodiles. Despite their immense size, seven meters long and a ton in weight, these predators stalk the waterways unseen. Their splashing might attract a crocodile's attention. But water lilies are excellent food, well worth the risk. Japarola, the most sharp-eyed hunter, takes guard. When cockatoos spot a threat, they let each other know. But are they startled by their first sight of humans or by something else? Although the hunting party don't yet know this bird well, they pick up on the alarm calls and look out for possible dangers. Australia harbors some of the strangest animals ever to walk this planet. And none stranger than Jenny Ornis. One day, scientists will call this the demon duck of doom. Does it deserve its name? In spite of its appearance, at over 250 kilograms with massively powerful legs, this is a threat. But is it meat eater or plant eater? Guess wrong and you're dead. 